Welcome to part two, ladies and gentlemen, of this uh, vlog in this top local restaurant. I just want to show you all this food. Check it out. This is that bayou I was telling you about. This thing is so big that they made us dumplings because the meat, there's too much meat in that fish. Clamps. Here they used some gala. Is this gala? Not, not yeah, gala roll. Some gala with um, meat. meat. Yeah. yeah, meat. Yeah, and potato. And obviously, we have some mussels, or what do you call that? Oysters. Oysters. Check it out, my friends. This is how you feast here in China. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a uh, quick review of this bayou because it's bloody expensive. How much did we pay for this bayou? Uh, the food was Arba. Okay, so it's two hundred and forty. Two hundred and forty for this bayou. Um, Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. The meat is just perfect, man. Are you gonna film me quickly, bro? Yeah. Thank you. I just want to give the people a review on this. So, as as I said in my previous video, that every month of May, like the husbands will uh, buy this fish up, and they are very expensive during that month. And then you will give the fish fresh, uncooked, to your father-in-law. And obviously your family will cook it together and that's showing respect. Today we just bought it to try it because uh, it's close to month of May. And um, I just wanted to try it for you guys. So that is called Bayou. Very expensive, but ours were not that expensive. Then we've got some soup. Check this fish soup, my friends. And this is a vinegar and sour soup. So by the way... I think I'm making a mistake. You don't put it in this cup, right, Bruce? Yes, this is for. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually for a drink, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for a drink. All right, drinking let me just tea. Get my fish bean or bone out of here. This is for drinking tea. This is for drinking soup. Right. You yes. see, I live eight years in China, but I still don't know that. Right. Mm. I'm gonna review this. They see you. They just see you tomorrow. <laughs> they see you tomorrow. Mushrooms in there. Oh man. You can definitely. Taste it's like a sea fish or like a, 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 a fish dish soup type of thing. Salt, um, the vinegar you can taste. I don't know if there's actually. I think there's seaweed in there. There's definitely something that give you that um, that ocean taste. Anyway, this thing is I don't know what, but it's the inside of a clamp apparently. So with some vegetables on it I never had this in China but I'm gonna give it a go wow this is almost like um, it's almost like like squid fish think about squid fish big pieces of squid fish cut cut up into pieces that's that is basically what it tastes yeah, like and then my friends we have some snacks deep fried mushrooms oh just made to perfection. <clears throat> I want to show you guys quickly this thing out. Check this out. I don't know the English name of this, but it, it looks like a unicorn nose. And um, the trick about this thing is you need to suck out the meat from inside there. <laughs> like so. Get it in your mouth. And then you literally suck off the... Um, the shell. The reason is the sauce that it's cooked in is like a, 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 a hot, it's not hot, it's spicy but not too spicy. You get the pepper flavoring but also a sweet flavor that goes with it. That's why you lick it off. This one and is a scal scallop, scallop meat. Oh, scallop meat. Yes. Is that what you call it? Let's have another scallop meat for you guys. Now you guys know what I'm eating actually. And me. Scallop meat. And then my friends, because this bayou is so big, they made us dumplings. This is always a winner in China. Just check it out, that perfection of how the um, the ayes, the ladies that cook this stuff, put it together. I tried myself, but it's not easy. But there's some bayou in here. And normally you dump it in vinegar sauce like so. And you enjoy this. Let's give it a go. Oh, 
some vegetables mixed with the uh, fish in there. Hmm. I sincerely think, sincerely, right? I think the best dish here is that dumpling. That Bayou dumpling is the best. And then number two, I will go for that clam fish or that unicorn shellfish. And number three, the Bayou. And my friends, I just want to show you this. This is a local drink. Is this local Qingdao or not? Chongguo. Oh, uh, just Chongguo. Yeah, not Qingdao. Yeah, not really Qingdao. Because I know Xi'an has got similar to this called Pingfeng. Oh. This is a all right, so so my friends tell me this is just like a local drink all over China. Beverage. Yeah, it's like a beverage, a soft yeah. drink. Um, it tastes like Fanta. It really tastes like Fanta. So I'm gonna wash this amazing food off with this drink, and you get it in the small little cube cups, and that enables you to not drink too much sugar. That is why the Chinese do it. And normally you guys drink tea out of this, right, Bruce? Uh, beer. You drink beer out of it? Yeah, this? this for tea. This one for tea. Oh. This oh. one for soup. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, this the... Uh, <laughs> oh, we forgot about this one. Yes. Right. Take this out, my friends. I've done some egg. Huh? Egg inside of... Oh, so there's egg in here. Oh, what's the high dye? Okay, I don't know what is high I think it's like a, mush, a sea mushroom. No. Or like a... No, 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 no. I don't know what you call this, bro. Uh, Sea urchin. See what? what? Let me check it out. Here, yeah. this uh, a okay, sea uh, sea urchin. Yeah. Sea urchin. <laughs> urchin. urchin. <laughs> you guys on YouTube help me, but yeah, that's what sea it is. Oh, uh, sea uh, urchin. Uh, sea urchin. <laughs> sea urchin. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wait. He's trying. I, I tried. Hey, to. Let, let me play it. Yeah. Sea a sea urchin, yes, bro, not a sea virgin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna try this, my friends. This is our meal. Um, how much do you guys think this is? Like, gender, take a look at that. This meal. Give me that uh -huh. thing that I can get you also in the video. How much is this? Like a meal like this? Uh, yeah. Wow, so this is a thousand, but I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the because most. Of the fish. Exactly. I think the mo the reason it's so expensive is because of that fish. Um, do you know what is a thousand in RMB? RMB. Yes, a thousand a, a thousand RMB in dollar. How much is that? Dollar. Yeah. Can't you check your phone, bro? <laughs> Let's check your phone. Let's get okay. these people the real okay. figures, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's check it out. A thousand. A thousand RMB. Oh, this is seven, so 142. 142 dollars. So you guys might think this is expensive, but I mean, we are full grown one, two, three, four, five, six men. And check all this food. Like 23. Ah, you see? You see how the Chinese brain work? They even work out like how much is it for one person? 23 RMB for, for a meal per no, person. No, 23 US dollar. Oh, <laughs> 23 US dollar per meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously your drinks. And my friends, you have your own room with two bathrooms. Oh, and so by the way, we already had some food, you can see, that we already ate. I forgot to film. What is this? This is like... Tattoo Thai. Tattoo Thai. What? Anyway, it's like a... It's vegetables cooking soup with mussels. So we had many, bro. We had many. There's many food here. This is my little plate. Anyway, my friends, that is top, top roadside restaurants here in China. I still don't know what I'm going to title this video. Maybe maybe I'll title this video Food Fit for a King because bloody hell, this is really, really good food. Check the soup. Oh. Check it out. And this is my awesome friends that hang out with me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comment. And also remember, you can leave a donation on your comment if you want. Thank you for watching. I'll bring you into China without a visa or a passport in my next video. Enjoy.